Okay, let's talk about another uh, system for lighting in twin motion is HDRI environments. These are HDRI high dynamic range image that uh, create a light for you. For example, if uh, we have a sun here in a dynamic system of the twin motion, if you have a sun and you can come here and you can change the sun, di sun direction, change shadow, you can change the cloud dynamically in a system, but these clouds and the environment that you created does not affect very much on the, for example, you can see this reflection and the object. We need an HDRI image that is not dynamic, it's an image that is still that you can just rotate and just you can change the uh, light of that, that uh, you can <clears throat> Uh, it is an image source that uh, the light are emit of any direction, not only sun anywhere. For going that, you come to HDR image and you, you have a lots of categories, skies, indoor, outdoor, studios, for example, skies, <clears throat> sun, clear. You, have, you can see we have lots of categories. For example, cloudy, you can download all of them and use them. You can see we are, these are images. You cannot change the cloud. You cannot change the, uh, for example, height of the, you can just rotate the sun. <clears throat> Let's uh, use some of them clear. For example, this, you can just click and drag it in a sky. And it mix with the sun, default sun system. Again, it is image, not dynamic uh, sky, dynamic sun. <clears throat> Waiting for insert. And now you can see we have our HDRI image. Nice. Again, if you change the sun, you can see it does not change the overall sky. Or, for example, you want to make it cloudy, the cloud are still there. It's not changing because it's a uh, 360 image around. It's automatically come to here, detail, go down, and here it's HDR image. You can enable or disable it from here. This is a sky doom. You can turn it on or off here, or you can add a background here. Drop background HDRI. Nice. You go completely on sky doom 360 image. Interesting. And now you can see in this reflection, we have everything in our reflection sun. And you can see we have an smooth shadows because the light are coming through all our images, for example, light from here, light from here, not only, not only just sun, but also a lot of <clears throat> object around it. Interesting. And just, you can change the intensity of your uh, sunlight or your image. You can just rotate your image and lock sun to HDR. It's very important because if you unlock that, for example, we have a sun, uh, our sun system, for example, you can hear the default sun system. The shadow is in this direction, but in this case, sun is from there. So be careful about that. Because of that, you lock the sun system of the default sun system of the twin motion to the sun of the, this image. This is, this is not real sun. This is a hot point of the image that emits light. This is an these are HDRI image, high dynamic range. You can preview that. And then nothing else. The sitting of the HDRI image is this. It's very easy. These are for camera. Uh, Yeah, this is for camera. And here is another setting of the HDRI. 
The HDRR affect lighting. Yes, we want to that. We want to this HDRI emit light. Hmm? We want. I don't know why the settings are very such a those these things. Yeah. These are all about the HDRI setting. From detail. You can change the positioning of that. You can change the uh, size of the HDRI. Now you can see this is 160 image. You can change the height, but don't change them. It's a projection. You can see this is some projection FA. You can tilt that. Be careful about these settings. Or you can center backdrop image or place center be careful about these tools and reset everything i don't use these things because <clears throat> weather effects It, if you change these sliders, you can see the effects of the weather on this. You can see. But if you untick that, you have no weather effect on your image. Turn it off. Okay, <clears throat> that's it. You can insert um, indoor studios also to use to render your product, for example, or outdoor. Um, something like this, you can drag and drop it. Yeah, it was drag and drop, sky, clear sound, cloudy, clear sound, uh, sky, and now, it's a clear sky. I don't want just sky doom I need. Now you can see your default floor. Nice. And we have a better effect on our scene. But uh, you, you, you need, for example, you have to change these settings based on the HDR image because you can see this is not rainy and it, it has a lot of cloud, but you, because this is an image, we don't have any cloud. Look at your image, the, uh, use and download from here and based on uh, this image, uh, change the weather setting. For example, cloudy day, snowy day. And if you want, you, if you go to the backdrop image, and if you want to weather effect on it, you can turn it on. You can see the weather are affecting. And be careful about the setting of the details of that, because this is an offset. Be careful about how height offset and other setting. Don't change them. That's it.